how to create an assignment in Google Classroom. When you go into your classroom, you should be on your stream. In the bottom right corner, you'll see your plus sign, and that's where you're going to add in the assignment. You're going to click on that, and one of the four options is create an assignment. Click on create assignment, and the template will come up. Here is where you can title the assignment. I'm going to title this one demo assignment. Here you can type instructions for the, for the assignment. You could also attach a rubric or something like that if you wanted to. So you can click on this. This is where you go if it's in a Word document or here if you created it in Google Drive. I'll go into Word to demo that. We're going to select the files. Go into your documents. And there is a rubric that I previously created. I'm going to double click on it. And I can add more. So if I have a direction sheet with it, a sample sheet, I can keep adding more files to this. Click Upload. And it'll attach that document to the assignment for reference, uh, for later reference for the students. Do I want the students to view the file? Do I want it to them to edit the file or make a copy for each student? This is a rubric, so I just want them to view the file at this point. Here, I can also set a due date. What's the date that I want this? When I click on it, it can be what's set there, or you can click and it'll bring up a calendar. You can push it out. You can say that it's optional too. You don't have to put a due date on it once that's there. Then you can choose who do you want to push this assignment out to. If you have more than one classroom set up, you can hit the drop down menu, select the boxes that you want to push the assignment out to, or you can leave this just the one individual. Then you have the option to assign it immediately, or you can save the draft so the students don't see it before you want them to see it. Here I'm going to click out Assign, and it'll generate the assignment. So here you can see the rubric is there for the students to reference. I could also attach direction sheet if I have it in that form. I could state the directions here. I can see who has not turned it in and who has turned it in in this area. Say I wanted to uh, change the date or maybe I noticed I had a typing error. I can click on here, click edit. I can go in and fix any error that I have and then hit save again. And that's pushing out an assignment to your students.